Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. Hey, you stole my Jinx. intro. Yeah, because I didn't want you to mess it up. I know for the third time. <laughs> jig, 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 jig. Um, how's it going, everyone? Um, we want to do a quick video today, kind of about two different things, but kind of the same thing at the same time. Today, Sarah and I ended up watching the Arsenal game today. The match. Yes, I did catch a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. And we didn't watch it live. We kind of watched it on replay, but um, we watched it and there was another discussion we kind of wanted to have about it. So look for timestamps down below. And we'll, we'll first get into the game. They played, um, first of all, it was 10 to, 10 to nil. A 10 to nil game. And that's called a mother freaking shutout. <laughs> it is. I will say the team that they played was Gilliam. And I watched the game. The announcers were kind of talking about um, this is the FA Cup. And for Gilliam to even get to this round of the FA Cup, it was something monumental almost for them because they had a rough year last year. There was a problem with their funding. Um, for the team and they split up from the men's team something like that so for them to just get here i think t props to them you yeah. know what i mean good, um, good. you know like it was 10 to 0 and you can't you know deny that fact jill roard scored like, it's, a hard, it's a hard name to say sarah jill roard scored she Rawr. scored a mother freaking hat trick a hattie i thought you said eight goals <laughs> i was like well that's impressive that's biff level um yeah that's pretty impressive hat trick and then um beth mead scored two goals Kim Little scored scored a goal. Viv scored a goal. Um, DVD scored a goal. Jordan Nobbs. I mean, look, these are some of our favorites right here. Yeah, she scored just a goal. Scoring left and right, it seems. Yeah, and then Anna Patton scored her first goal as an Arsenal, Ooh. as an Arsenal player. Nice, so, nice. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna talk about that a little bit, but it was a fun game. Um, also, along with that, it was Viviana Mitama's 100th appearance for Arsenal. Whoa, isn't that crazy? They should get her the balloons that are the number 100 oh uh, they gave her flowers i saw there's a picture of her and joe and 100 appearances and she scored on her 100th game i mean if that's that's that's, that's pretty that's pretty darn good yeah no so it was exciting for you know for arsenal they played at meadow park uh it looked like yeah, a beautiful day it looked nice and warm there i mean sarah and i hate the warm so it's not good for us but no we like the warm we hate the heat the yeah hot. we hate the heat we hate the heat hot, hot, hot. but joe was wearing a short sleeve shirt and viv wasn't wearing any gloves so <laughs> i know it's warm when she doesn't wear gloves. yeah i call those the viv gloves anyone who wears gloves now i'm like oh those are viv's, glo viv's gloves <laughs> yeah she did um invent the look <laughs> Look, um, you should trademark it. So it was a fun game. Yeah. There was one of the Gillian players that went down really hard. It was a defense player, and the ball hit her head really hard. They didn't have replay on this game because it only oh, had one camera, that, yeah. and it hit her head really hard, and she was out for the count for a little bit. I think she's okay. I haven't heard an update on her. Okay, so we talked about Jill Roard. That's her name's name. So we talked about Jill. Jill scored a hat trick. Um, that was pretty iconic. Anytime you scored a hat trick, even if you're it doesn't matter what team you're going if you score a hat trick that you're doing something you know yeah, what I, mean? I don't think it doesn't matter the game it doesn't yeah. matter who you're playing yeah exactly it, it, i mean iconic all around exactly then like we talked about anna Patton. she scored her first goal i haven't heard much about anna Patton. i've kind of seen her in a couple of videos but i didn't know much about her have you heard much about her Every time you say her name, I think of Anna Paquin. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking about. Well, Paquin, Patton, actor, soccer player. Almost. Which Anna Paquin's by, so I'm here for that. Oh, is she? I know that. <laughs> so um, I'm going to read Paquin, little... not Patton. So <laughs> Anna Patton is a little interesting, too. An yeah. English footballer who plays for a defender for Arsenal in the FA Women's Super League. She previously played in college soccer for the Florida State Seminoles in South Carolina Gamecocks in the United States and has represented England in multiple youth levels and under 15 levels. She made her <laughs> debut on January 17, 2021, and her second Arsenal debut against Reading would end 0-1-1. She played 45 minutes. Okay, so she hasn't played a lot, but she's been on a couple appearances. So, I mean, I'm so excited that I see a new player out there. You know, she's young. She's super young. And also, um, the commentators for the game, one was Jen Beattie, the other guy, I don't know his name. They asked her who her player of the match was for the whole entire match. And she said, Anna, after, after, after everything that had happened, even Jill Roard scoring three goals, she said Anna Patton was her player of the match. Mm, interesting. Yeah. So, I mean, this is, you seeing a young player like this is exciting. You know what I mean? You just never know what they're going to go into. I remember when I first, when a lot of people heard about um, Roger Federer, he beat Pete Sampras at Wil Wimbledon when he was not supposed to beat Pete Sampras at Wimbledon. You think, oh, Pete Sampras, he's the best player of all, one of the all times. Roger Federer comes in. Who's this guy who beats Pete Sampras? And then Roger Federer turns into one of the all time greats. Is this giving us Naomi, Naomi Osaka vibes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where she beat Serena. 
Yeah, I mean, she was more established at that point. But same kind of thing, you know. When but you, still, when you beat the goat, you become the when goat. When you come into these situations <laughs> when you're young and you're doing amazing things. I mean, and even the commentators say, you know, she's a defender. Defenders don't get all the glory. You know, I don't think it should be like that, but it is. You know what I mean? They don't... I think their thighs get the glory because I'm looking. <laughs> You know, I'm appreciating the thigh game. So we love Arsenal. Arsenal, but Arsenal is my favorite team, I think. I'd hate to be. I agree. Do you? Yeah. yeah I, I like just, Arsenal. I just know all of the personalities so well. You know what I mean? Um, and as we know about Arsenal, they have some official couples on Arsenal. They have Viv yes. and Lisa, OG couple right there, Viv and Lisa, um, um, Dan and Beth. Leah and Jordan, and the newer couple of Leah and Caitlin. So that is almost as about as official as there is because they're acting normal in that picture. Remember, act normal. That's true. (laughs) Anytime you act normal, Mm -hmm. I will say a few people DM. We didn't know about this first, but a few, like four or five people DM'd us about this um, altogether. So I kind of want to talk about this. I see friendships forming on Arsenal. Can we say some cute moments have been happening? Some cute moments. A couple of cute moments have been happening uh, with a couple of these players. I want to show you what a couple of people pointed out, but I think it's super cute. And I think even if it's not a couple, even if, even if it's best friends, no matter what it is to have, you know, people on the team who really genuinely seem to really like each other, I love. I think Anna and Jill Rod have been having some cute moments recently, would you say, Sarah? Um, yes, I will agree with that. And we're going to kind of show you what um, what a couple of people have shown us. Jill and Anna have been really active on each other's Instagram specifically. Um, I mean, I think a lot of times when you have teammates, you always are in each other's comment sections or whatnot. But there's been a couple of times where, I mean, it's pretty cutesy, Sarah. It's pretty cutesy. Mm. And I mean, it's almost like kind of like a, a banter kind of thing, too. So I'm going to show you. Banta. Okay, so we should be doing this in chronological order, but we're not. We're just going to start from almost like the most recent. So there is a super cute picture of that Jill posted. It's with the Netherlands crew, and I'll put the picture on the screen. And then if you go down to the comments section, you will see that Anna has posted a comment. Anna says, remember your left boot. Then she had a little kissy face. I mean, look at that, Sarah. And then Jill Rod said, she said um, something in Dutch, but it means funny. Like, oh, funny, funny girl, funny, funny stuff. Krepig. Yeah, in that little kissy face. Then there's this picture. This picture was from March 20th. Mm-hmm. And she's holding, and Anna is tall. I don't know how tall Jill is, but Anna's like 5'10". And look, at she's, I mean, that's a hug. Mm, whoa, she is like barely off the ground, <laughs> but also wait. towering. Wow, she's long. I mean, oh, and then, then Lisa Evans um, look, you can see the comments. Lisa Evans yeah. kind of has uh, heart eyes. And then Anna. Anna has the cute dancing emoji. That's a pretty, that's a pretty nice hug. Okay, so here's another cute pic. It's Jill posted it. And it's her, it's her and Viv. And it is from April 4th. And then if you look at the comments, there's Anna. And it's a so cute FOMO. Fear of missing out. Yeah, it's so cute. Like, that's kind of thing where it's just kind of like, uh, you don't want to miss out. We love to see budding friendships. And then a lot of times a telling thing is maybe when friendships are really close. Um, When you are in a friendship with another person from another country, you start supporting that other country. You know what I mean? Totally, yeah. So like Lisa really supports Netherlands because Viv is part of the Netherlands squad, right? And then Jill posts this picture. It's on April 8th and it says game day. And then we see who comments down below. It's Miss Anna Patton. She comments and she goes, go orange, I'm guessing. Yeah. And, and then, of course it's orange. Go orange. And Jill says. Oh, she likes that dancy girl. Yes. Emoji. She likes that dancy girl. There's so much interaction between these two. Then there's this picture. Here's Anna, Anna Patton right here. And look at, okay, well, one's Anna. Um, tall girl. And then. So, Not to show. And then look at, so when is this picture from? 2008. No, no. 2014. I was guessing by the the way it looked aesthetically. (laughs) I know, I know. And then look at Jill. So cute. I mean. Cute hug hug. Yes. I think that's what the X's stand for. I mean, I think a lot of times when someone goes back into your feed, you know, it's just so someone really likes someone in whatever context it is. Stalker. 
I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> someone really likes someone. So, you know, for Jill to go all the way back there and put cute, I mean, you know, they must have really affinity for each other. And I will say, the idea... Are we the stalkers, though? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The idea that I think, you know, having these friendships on soccer team or and professional sports, this they are not a couple. 100% everyone. I'm not saying they're a couple, but say they were a couple. I'm just saying they're not oh, a couple. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. If they were... That would be five couples on Arsenal. I mean, five couples on one team, and they're making it work. That's what I'm, that, that's kind of the point of it. Just because you have a couple on a team doesn't me- mean because I think back in the old days, oh, you mi- you're mixing business with pleasure. You are. You shouldn't. You know, it should be underground. But now it's just like showing people. You mix that way any way you want. You can make it work with the you know with friendships with relationships with coupling it if women and men are professional they can make it work and i think it it could help teams to say we know we can make it work it shouldn't impact whether or not you know a boss or anyone thinks that we shouldn't be coupled you know what i mean normalize couples on the same team yes to make it normal where it's not even like oh is that a good idea and I think as long as women are professional, because you and I both know, even if somebody's in a couple, that doesn't mean you're, it doesn't mean you're going to get along with another player and not get, get get along with another player based on the couple. It's generally two personalities sometimes just don't get along with each other. Right. You know what I mean? It doesn't have anything to do with they're in a couple. I hate that they're in a couple. No, it's usually, I just don't like them to begin with. You know what I mean? If there's, because there has mm-hmm. never been a team where every single person gets along. You know what yeah. I mean? So, I mean, and also... Jill is always one of the first person to like Anna's posts. Always one of the first of people like Anna's um, posts on her Instagram. And also, Anna is not verified on Instagram yet. We need to change this. Instagram, get on that. She is not verified. So this is a video of us um, breaking down and kind of analyzing whether Jill is a stalker. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I would keep that <laughs> Just bit. kidding. Just kidding. Um, lo- love you, Jill. But Jill, I mean, I love Jill. I mean, she's so funny. She, she's just such, you know, such an upbeat personality. Yes. We love those personalities. But I just, I love these moments. I mean, I'm here for these moments between these women. You know what I mean? Okay. What do you guys think of this friendship? I mean, is it a friendship that you saw coming? Also on Anna's Instagram, Anna doesn't post too much, but recently she had a post from March 10th. Oh, like over a month ago. It said, I love Wednesdays. And Jill had a very cute response. Sick. <laughs> With the heartsy eyes. Heartsy eyes. We love cute emojis. Yeah. Some people are like emoji queens. I it's... was literally just thinking emoji queens. <laughs> Were you? Were you? I'm the... My phone doesn't oh. do a lot of emoji. <laughs> You do like the emojis from like uh, 1920s? No, I do the emot- emoticons where you put the semicolon and then the heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking that about. Um, what do you guys think about um, Arsenal winning big? And like I said, these friendships, I, I, I think we should normalize thinking that they're good for teams. You know what I mean? I think you would obviously say yes. You, you think friendship being friends on team. But I think these women are, you know, professionals. They can... They can have any kind of friendship they want on a team and it still become you know winners. You what? They could be lovers and friends. Ooh, 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 wow. Heck yes. I don't know the words to that, but. And also, let's make sure that Anna gets um, verified because this is unacceptable that she is not verified. We got to work on that, getting Anna. Okay, um, if she gets verified after this, um, we're we did it. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. <laughs> what do you guys think? I mean, are you liking this, this friendship? Because. Sometimes we they, we see a friendship and it moves to things. And Sarah, I no, Sarah, I'm telling you Sarah, this. I don't think it's she's bad. off her stool. She's off her stool. I, she's out of I control. I don't think it's bad to say that because I think that's the way a lot of relationships happen. You're best friends with someone. That's how Sarah and I started. We were best friends with each other. Okay. Do you guys agree that if you become best friends, that makes the best relationships? Yes. What do you think? Do you think if you become if you're best friends first, it could turn into a really good relationship, or do you think you yeah. don't need? Okay, because some people think I don't want my love. It works both ways. Yeah, some people think I don't want my lover to be my best friend. I want my best friend to be my best friend. You know what I mean? You can have both. You can have more than one best friend, you know. That's true. That's true. Because I think if you're each other's best friends, you you love each other from being friends first before anything. You know, you love and respect that person as a person. Because I'm sure you have friends that you love but aren't, would never be in a relationship with them. You know what I mean? I've been in a relationship with all of them. Oh dear. 
How dare I? <laughs> because I think that's the best way to start a relationship. And some people don't agree with me, to be honest. Some people think, no, don't be best friends because it muddles the water between lover and friends. Well, I will say that all of the friends that I've had, mm-hmm. it, it, was, it, it was weird to even think about getting into a relationship right, with them right. because or even liking them right because it was weird because they were my friend that's true even one of her best friends is gay and she th- there would never be a relationship between that person and you but she did want to kiss me once <laughs> what an honor and i'm mad that she didn't do it i was like okay you should have gone for it girl ah, you know i'd be okay with it what do you guys think questions comments down below um congrats viv for 100 uh, appearances congrats hat trick jill rod Congrats, yeah. Anna, first ever goal and as Arsenal. I mean, so many congrats, congrats all around. What do you guys think? Questions, comments down below. And we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Love you. Bye. Bye.